puts one on. Puck covered, whistle blown. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Just over eight minutes to be played. The Red Wings lead 1-0. On a cross shot. Fires a shot. Terrific stop, and it's loose. Gains the zone. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Pass off the woodwork to Erickson. Detroit's moving the puck along the side. And it's driven away. Karam pass to DeKaiser. That play went offside. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go with the puck. Guys, this is an excellent shot. Oi. Make sure that, make sure that cup gets rinsed out and not left on the table. So I just want to have no more milk at night time. Got me? Talking to your sister. And your cup too. Make sure your cup makes it off the table and rinse gets rinsed out. You left it on the table last night. Both of you guys left your cups out. Yeah, you did. The goaltender makes an excellent pad save. The Bruins prevail on the draw. Passing one off now to Miller. Hatchets one. He beat everything but the post. Gets it in a good place. Slid back across from one point to the other. Oh. And he picks it up. And now it's directed to Bolesky. Gathered up by McQuay. The clock has bled down to the last minute. In the first period. The Bruins have it up the wing. Nicely into the zone. Try to clear the puck. Great job stopping and holding. Pass led ahead. Nothing will come of this. Point blast. Got in the way of that one. That shot came from nowhere. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. And that's one period. Still two more to go. Only one goal scored and two periods yet to go. And we turn to the shots on goal in the first. Seven for Detroit and two for the Bruins. The Wings got their lead in this game what seems like a long time ago. I guess because it was. But they do have that lead as we had to bring. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Bruins are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Middle period has just begun. Krug's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Nicely into the zone with a wrister. Great glove save, and he keeps it. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. Detroit's up the wing, controlling play now. Goes back deep for him. Two guys together with force. Big force. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Looking to Bergeron. Pass attempt at Chara. Detroit's in possession as they travel up the wing. Pitching it to Tatar. On to Chara. Loose puck captured by Cronwall. To Bergeron. They score! And they've tied the game up! Bergeron's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. That's a save a goaltender's got to make, Edzo. Low glove side, got to be able to catch that. Boston's got this game even up now. And we're still in the second period. Over six minutes have been skated here in the second. A scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Four, five, 
Long side. Oh, ho, ho, that's more than your normal rub out. Oh, I felt that hit, but heard it as well. He's got it, but can he shovel it out of there? Six minutes, five seconds. Gathered in by DeKaiser. A shot. Oh, and it's off the mark. Larkins hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. The Bruins guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Wings get their first power play opportunity of this contest. Let's see if they can make good on it. The Bruins with a face-off win. That is defense. Pointed to Smith. And quickly to DeKaiser. That puck out of play over the glass, and a young lady from Shawinigan came up with that. And tonight, a special gift for everyone coming through the gates, a free hat. Then they've got the decision to make if there's a hat trick, do I give it up or do I keep it? Solid, clean win. Great job of keeping that from going out. Sent out of the zone by Char. Snapped up by DeKaiser. Detroit's carrying on up the wing. Scooped up by Abdelkader. Shoots one. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. A whistle and a rest. Uh, sometimes I think the pads are too big anyway, but he's able to get a pad on this excellent scoring chance. Nice face-off work. The Bruins are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. Ooh, saved by the wire of the mask. Gets play stopped. Rath's lucky it's not 1947. This rings right off his mask. Quick shot. Shot not too strong. Pad stop. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Oh, quick off the draw. Hayes carried it through the middle. Gets across, looks over his options. No completion on that pass, thanks to the stick. Fires! Snaps one in there. Score! And that's his first of the season. He's had his chances and finally cashes in for goal number one. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Detroit's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. And possession seized by Nicholas Cronwall. Moving it to Glenn Denning. Gets in, looks over his options here. Laid on to Bacchus. Detroit's in their own end setting things up. And at an angle to Glenn Denning. Swept on. Oh, score! The referee's waving this off. Maybe it's kick. Eddie's signaling me here. Oh, that hurts. Eddie's signaling it was kicked in. The referee waved that one off. I'm not too sure about that. They're going to go upstairs and take another look, and we will too.
Kings have built a two-goal lead now. Do they keep attacking, or do they lay back and just wait for the end of the period? The Bruins with a center ice face-off win. Oh, great cut! He gains the zone. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Good block and puck possession comes from that. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. He delivered that puck quickly. It was accurate, yet the goaltender was just better than him on the wrist shot. Nielsen's lost another one. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. The Red Wings will have to sit two minutes for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. Boston's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Looking to change the momentum. They have it. Getting their first power play of the game. Trailing. You got it, Eddie. Let's see. The power play is just about to begin. Boston's got some time left if things work perfectly. Good quick poke check there. Waffle boarded. Get the shit out of me. <laughs> it's just a microphone. <laughs> Holy crap, I jumped out of my skin. <sighs> What's going on, man? How are you? Minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Good. Just playing some hockey. Some of this. Sixteen for the Red Wings and five for the Bruins. Your donations have made it possible for kids in need. His team hasn't mm -hmm. been perfect. He was solid, especially on this one. Thank you. This game is still close because of him. Intermission is next. I can share play with you if you want. You, you can you can have a go. I don't mind. The Bruins are lucky to still be in this game, Doc. They've been outplayed by a large margin, especially in time of position. One lucky bounce, and they're right back in it. Our play continues here into this period. We're up down along the boards. Glass is going to rattle there, boys. That's a big hit along the boards. Detroit's in possession now as they move up the wing. Wrist one. Oh, he mm -hmm. robbed him. <laughs> we go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Detroit's taken a real physical tact to this game. They've been up offensively with the body. They've opened up lanes and then got the puck to the yeah. front of the net as a result of their physical play. You're right, Ray. This is a physical game, especially played by the team that's up on the scoreboard. Boston's got a face-off win. Puck is thrown to Bergeron. Mm -hmm. Let's it go. Pat hit somebody. Okay. Fantastic shutdown. Detroit survived it. Back even. A river from the yeah. Directing that one to Marshan. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Terrific save. A cover and play is stopped. <laughs> well, can't do much more than that, guys. That's an excellent Scam. shot that he delivered to the net, but the goaltender makes the save. Over three minutes have transpired. Detroit's lead is two, three to one. Face-off win and a shot. Detroit's organizing things back in the defensive zone. Yeah. Corralled by Nielsen. Wrist shot. Marvel. 
marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Big shot. Yeah. Gathered up again by Nielsen. In front. Score! Wait, no goal. No goal. Yeah. Not goaltender interference, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, I hear the destiny going on. <laughs> I'm broadcasting as well. Boston's got that one now. What? The Bruins continue to probe up the wing. Moved along and in. And he steps across the line. Save, but just barely. Scorches one. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. The Bruins um, really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Dvorak. Fedorov. Okay, yeah. Fedorov. Yes, I remember. Sergei Fedorov. Defensive zone win. Decides to head for the corner. Hand eye coordination beats that pass again. Yeah. Um, they have Lele, Ducks, and Sharks. Yeah. San Jose, Ducks, and Nine Ducks, and the LA Kings. Steve, Steve Eisenman is actually the general manager of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Believe it or not. Hey, he's got a He has a. They're, they're a fucking good team, too. That's the problem. That's why they're so good. Because he's a general manager of <laughs> them. You want to score goals? you got to get to this area of the ice. Mm -hmm. Rath's not going to stop that one, Enzo. It's delivered so perfectly just inside the post. Detroit's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they mm -hmm. have had the offense going. Third period of play. <laughs> Propelled to Bacchus. Good intercept. The Red Wings have a decided advantage in this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Snaps off a wrist shot. That plays offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Detroit's not done with this game tonight. We're already looking ahead on the schedule. A tough lineup of teams over the next stretch will test these guys physically and mentally. <laughs> Boston's got that neutral zone faceoff. And that's an offside. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's the good old days of hockey because they don't, can't do that shit. They fight, still fighting shit, but they don't get nowhere near that bad anymore. I mean, the ruthless days. Like I, I always wonder, like if you watch the old, the old old games, like how the hell did these guys survive, like wearing no helmets, no pads or anything? Because they still got it just as hard. You know what I mean? Fucking crazy. Collected by Erickson. Still has control in the defensive zone. Possession taken by McQuay. Mm -hmm. Slid to Posternoff. That's what those pads are for. And he freezes for the whistle. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Yeah. Boston's quick on the draw. And the puck taken over by Mora. Yeah. Looks from the corner. Yeah, they play okay in England. But and they've got it again. Yeah. Dumped but when I lived in England, I, they, uh, they also showed the NHL on, on, um, on TV too. So that's how I like, saw, the, saw a lot. I came over in 97. 97? 
So. Yeah, yeah, just as, it, just as at the end of Eisman's career and stuff and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The Bruins love the puck in center ice. And the pickup. Mm hmm. Into the end of attack. Scooped up. Cranks a shot. Pat. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. Hammer. He missed the net on the deflection. Ten seconds to go. Down oh, I remember watching it on TV, man. <laughs> I watched it on TV. I was like, oh, my fucking God. It was like, I watched it live on TV. Yeah. There's the horn and the end of the game. The Red Wings took this game by a wide margin. It's not just yeah. the score that had a wide margin. Coach has to be extremely happy with all the shots that were taken to give them this lead tonight. The players yeah. go to center ice, raise their sticks. One last time, they salute the fans before leaving the ice. Yeah. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emery yeah. saying good the, the craziest, craziest day of my life was when I saw that. I was watching it on TV. I was all up and live. I was like, what? First saw the first plane it, and then it was like, well, oh, World Trade Center, it was a report of news. World Trade Center's been hit by a plane, blah, 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 blah. And then as he was showing the, the pitch, showing the live pitch and stuff, that's when you saw the other plane go into the fucking World Trade Center. It's fucking crazy. Crazy. One of them surreal moments. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember when I came over when I came over in 97 gas was a dollar <laughs> gas was one one dollar Not, yeah 99 cents I remember freaking gas <laughs> that is crazy 99 cents 